But we begin with viral video of a terrifying dog attack in Detroit. The dog's jaws locked on a postal worker as onlookers do everything they can to get it to stop, but it just doesn't work. That video was posted to Facebook about three hours ago. It's now been shared 55,000 times. The attack happened on the west side, right in the area of 8 Mile and Ardmore, just east of the lodge. Mara McDonald is live in that neighborhood tonight. Mara, that video goes on for almost five minutes. Karen, that postal worker was right here on the ground, and thank goodness that the neighbors in this neighborhood stepped in and tried to do something to help him. I don't know what would have happened otherwise, including a guy who hefted this extremely heavy trash bin over his head and on that animal, and you know, it didn't make a difference. A man driving down Ardmore couldn't believe what he was seeing, rolling up on a mail carrier being attacked by a dog. <laughs> Beeping his horn, it's not working. The animal's jaw is locked on the mail carrier. A neighbor tries to pry him off. No good. Another neighbor, a woman, comes out with a broom, beats the animal. It does no good. The man behind the wheel of the car gets out, grabs a trash can. It doesn't work. Some of what happens here is too much, and we can't show it. He then uses a wheel lock to beat on the animal. It's hard to watch. It doesn't work either. That poor mail carrier trapped on the ground by the animal. A neighbor grabs the animal by the leash and gets him off. The dog sits down in the middle of the road. Meanwhile, the driver of the car gets the mail carrier in his car for protection. Thank you, thank you. No problem, man. Find your dog, Mother, if he got you. Let me call him. Let me call the ambulance. The two take a moment to catch their breath before he calls 911, and then the animal starts after another neighbor. Oh, Jesus. Back here live, they call 911. EMS gets out here. That postal carrier was taken to the hospital and treated for his injuries. Police get out here and animal control, and they're telling us that they have taken the animal. So while all of this is in being investigated, they're trying to figure out exactly who that dog belongs to. What some of the neighbors out here are telling me is that that animal isn't usually in this neighborhood and that they think that it belongs to the boyfriend of a woman who lives on the street. We are live on Detroit's west side right now. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.